Okay, so this is a fourth in a series of videos talking about when n a natural number is expressible as a sum of squares. So all of these videos have been focused on when n is expressible as a sum of two squares, and this is the last of these videos. We're going to have one more where we look at the sum n as a sum of three squares, and then some videos uh, talking about n as a sum of four squares as well. Um, so now let's just recall this theorem which was proved in the last video which says that if we have a natural number n it's expressible as a sum of two squares if and only if every prime factor that it has which is congruent to 3 mod 4 appears with an even power. And then we also have these uh, other facts which say says that if p is not congruent to 3 mod 4 then we can write that prime as a sum of two squares um, and then we also have this fact which was used in the proof of this theorem which is if you have m and n are expressible then so is m times n and the proof of this um, little result here required the following formula which is really nice and in fact is going to be used for our examples in this video which is what we're doing right now so let's start off with um, 490, and we'll notice that 490 is 2 times 5 times 7 squared, and so it's 10 times 49. But now notice we can write that thing as 7 squared times 2 times 5. So why did I do that? I brought the thing that uh, was congruent to 3 mod 4 out front, and notice, yes, it appears with an even power, so we're good to go. So now what we can do is write each of these as sums of squares, which we're guaranteed to be able to do by this theorem. Um, so that gives us, this is 7 squared plus 0 squared. Here we have 1 squared plus 1 squared. And finally, here we have 2 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so now putting these two, last two together, using this formula up here, gives us the following. So this is 3 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so let's see why that's the case. That's 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1 all squared, so that's this bit. And then it's 2 times 1 uh, minus 1 times 1, which is 1, which is that second bit. So we have 3 squared plus 1 squared. Now let's bring this 7 plus 0 squared down. And then we can just do that same thing again, and we'll notice that we get 21 squared plus 7 squared. And then you can easily check that this is equal to 490. Okay, I'm going to clean up the board, and then we're going to do one more quick example. Okay, now we're ready for one more quick example. So we have 5265. So that's going to be equal to uh, 3 to the 4th times 5 times 13. Okay, so now let's look at this theorem. Is it expressible? Yes, it is expressible because our only prime factor, which is of the form 3 mod 4, is to an even power. And so now what we can do is rewrite each of these as sums of squares and then use this formula a couple times in a row. So notice we can write this guy as 9 squared plus 0 squared. Here we have 2 squared plus 1 squared. And now this one is uh, 3 squared plus 2 squared. 9 plus 4 is 13. Now, we'll do the same thing again. So I'm going to put the last two together. So I'll bring my 9 squared plus 0 squared down. And then putting these last two together, we get the following. So we're going to get 8 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so let's see that. So that's 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 times 2 is 8. Good. And then we have 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1 times 3 is 1. So we get that. And now finally, we can use this formula one more time on this pairing, and we'll get this is 72 squared plus 9 squared. And that's the way to express uh, 5265 as a sum of two squares. Okay, good. This is the end of the video.